all I, all I wanted was a hundred million dollars and a bad chick. Imagine this a Muslim nice and felt like that I had it. Back on the mattress, staring at the ceiling. What is good? Guys, what's poppin'? One man can change the world in this thing. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. But guys, today I'm doing a Q&A video for you guys. Uh, for for you that follow me on Snapchat, I put on my Snapchat, uh, you know, I'm doing a Q&A video. Send me questions. So, you guys did that. So, I'm going to start from the very first one. And, you know, I place a spot. So, the first one. What do you do on your free time? Okay, what do I do on my free time? I got a lot of free time on my hands, you know? So, I hang with friends, most importantly. I always, you know, I hang with my friends all the time. So, uh, hang with my friends is the one, is one of them. Then, I play basketball. Play basketball a lot on my free time. Let's see, what else? You know, eat, of course, you know, eat. Eat, sleep play basketball, hang with my friends, and that's about it, you know, try to do any fun thing possible, you know, go to the mall, <laughs> you know, so, uh, I hope that answered your question, next, how old are you, guys, this is a freak, 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 frequently asked question, I am 20 years old in this thing, you know what I'm saying, gang, but guys, I'm 20 years old, about to turn 21, August 15th, so, any birthday questions? My birthday is August 15th. So be ready for it, you know? Let's see next one. Are you and Chris still close? Yes, I am way close with Chris. Trust me. Just visiting for the holidays, like I've been telling you guys. I mean, yes, it's been a while, but, you know, I've been spending time with my family. Next. Next. What's one thing I, I love about my fans? Uh, the thing I love about my fans is, like, you guys really support me in whatever I do, and you guys always... You know, have my back on any situation, uh, which is, you know, out ridiculous because you really don't know me. But, I mean, you guys have my back no matter what. So, that's what I love about my fans, you know. Like, they're huge supporters. I just love that about you guys. Next. Next. What is your middle name? I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but my middle name starts with the A. I'll give you 10 seconds to guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My middle name, if you guessed it right, be honest, okay? My middle name is Antonio. Crazy, right? Crazy. Would have never thought that. Okay, next. Are you going to do more prank bits? Yes, I am. I have a few, you know, in my holster right now. You know, about to unload. But yes, I do have a few in my head right now. Pretty good ones. Next. Are you single? And are you and Chris still friends? Yes, I am single. And yes, me and Chris are still friends, guys. I promise. Where are you from and how old are you? Okay, so I get this question a lot. Where are you from? Uh, I just say, you know, I'm from Indiana. But guys, I've been everywhere. If you, you know, I, I don't know if I elaborated on it before in my uh, channel. But I'm from, like, I was born in Germany. Then I'm just going to say the whole everywhere I live, you know. So I was born in Germany. And I went from Georgia to Colorado to Andy. Georgia to Colorado to Indy. So, I've been a lot of places. And then, uh, I moved to Fort Wayne. So, guys, uh, I guess you can say, you know, where am I from? Uh, Germany, Indy, Colorado, Georgia. You know, all of them. Where'd I leave off at? Where'd I leave off at? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a lot. A lot. Okay, I just did that one. Alright. Okay. 
Big question, guys. Big question. You know, it's going to take up a majority of the time. Maybe. How do you feel about the Chris and Queen situation? Guys, look. The Chris and Queen situation. So, guys, I love Chris and Queen a lot. Like, as you know, deep down in my heart, I love them. They're, they're my brother and my sister. But, guys, there's no... There's no, oh, I like Chris more than, it's it's not that, you know? Uh, so, this question, you know, how do you feel about the Chris and Queen situation? You know, I mean, am I, you know, do I wish they were still together? Yeah, but, you know, if, it, if that's how it is, and, you know, stuff is going on in their relationship like that, and they end up, then, you know, partying like that, it's... You know what can I do? I, I, I can't. I can't do anything. It's you know, there's nothing I can really say. I mean, you know, I want them to be together, of course, because that's Chris and Queen. You know, C and Q Mafia all day. You know, every day. You know, I love them to death. But it's not gonna change, change. You know how I look at them or anything. You know, so I love Chris and Queen. You know, the same way, even though they, you know, they're split. It's not gonna affect me from hanging out. With Queen as much or with Chris as much, you know, I, you know, I love them, love them to death, uh, no matter what, really. So, uh, yeah, the Chris and Queen situation, I, you know, there's, I love them to death, equally, you know. There's, there's no, oh, man, they're broken up. I'm not gonna hang it with Queen no more. I don't like Queen. No, what the heck? I feel the same about, you know, both of them. It's you know, I just, you know, I'm over here, like, you saying you know, but it's just like, it, my my ways of, you know, of thinking, you know, about the situation, it's not going to change, you know, I love him to death. That's all I got to say, you know, I love him to death. Are you currently dating someone, and if so, who? No, I'm not dating anybody at all. But, you know, I'm a guy, so, you know, I talk to, you know, some people, you know. I've got this habit, you know, I keep saying you know. Uh, my friend Anthony Mooney has got me on it, uh, saying you know a lot. And it's kind of, you know, you start talking to people and you just, you just say it. Why do you hang out with black people? Not racist, just asking. Um, to me that's a, you know, irrelevant question or just, you know, really... Not a good question, but like, uh, I mean, I hang with them because it's not because they're, it's not because their color of their skin, it's because, it's not because the color of the skin, it's just because who they are, you know? It's, I don't go and look and be like, oh, he's black, let's hang with him. Oh, he's white, let's hang with him. No, it's, you know, personalities. It, it doesn't matter what color they are. You know, if I have a lot of black friends, that's just because... You know, the, their personality. I like their personality, so I became friends with them. Hmm? So, <laughs> that question is just weird to me and doesn't really make that much sense to me. How did I meet Chris and Queen in Ar Armand and Trey? I met Armand and Trey off of Chris and Queen. You know, I was at Chris and Queen's house one day and Armand and Trey popped up and, you know, they started staying down there and I started getting good friends with them, you know. Just hanging out daily, you know, playing basketball with Armand, you know, hanging with Trey, just a whole bunch of stuff, you know, doing all that, doing all these things. And I uh, started, you know, got good friends with them, that's how I met them. And then I met Chris through uh, a little reality show that we did in Atlanta. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm very blessed to meet this man, uh, to have met that man. Because, you know, now he's one of my best friends and, you know, hopefully, always be bad friends. Cause that my boy, that my boy. <laughs> I love Chris to death. If you guys didn't know, I love everybody that I am in that you know in Houston with. I love them to death. If you guys have not known yet, so for all you guys that always ask me, you know, about the Chris and Queen situation, stop asking me now. I answered. I answered as good as I could. You know, that's my answer. It's not gonna change. Love Chris and Queen both. You know, their actions are their actions. Can't change those. So, you know, I'm going to ride with my, 
my brothers and sisters, my brother and my sister, till the day I die. You feel me? You know, love Queen and love Chris. That's never gonna change. No matter what situation it is. Do I love doing YouTube? Yes, I love doing YouTube because YouTube brought me so many friends that I have today and uh, good friends, you know, that, that are doing stuff with their life, you know, and just, <laughs> I love them, they love me, you know, great friends, you know, YouTube, YouTube did a lot, you know, made a lot of opportunities for me, you know, opened my eyes a lot more and stuff like that, and now I live in Houston and I, I love it down there. Love the friends, love everything, love the atmosphere, just everything. The whole nine yards. Will I ever choose a fan to spend the day with me or become friends with me? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I already have became friends with, uh, you know, some people like DOT family, the DOT family. Uh, he changed his name a couple times just because, you know, some people uh, chose to report him on his channel, which was very annoying to me and uh, kind of made me upset. But, you know, I'm friends with him now, and, uh, I'm friends with, you know, a good amount of people that, you know, you know, know me or, or fans of me. You know? It's not, it's not about fans, it's about, you know, their personality, do I like it, you know, all this stuff, you know, do they match, you know, like, do we click, you know, that stuff. It's not, it's not, oh, it's fan, you know? It's, they're a person too, they're just not a fan. If you attended college, what would you study? Uh... I attended college one and a half years and I had no idea what to study. I took general studies for forever, but now that I think about it, I probably, you might, you know, if I did ended up going back, I would probably do business or try to be a cop or a firefighter, something like that. What's my favorite animal? Uh, that's a hard one. I love dogs, but pandas are very cool and you know, stuff like that. Guys, I'm going to do one more. Okay. Since it's, you know. Uh, I already went over, but are you on Chris side or Queen side? Whoever said that, I don't know why you said it. Because there's not picking and choosing sides. It's not about that. I love Chris and Queen for who they are. You know, equally. You know, I, I, this this side picking is you know very dumb to me. It just does not make sense to me. So this picking sides, please stop. Please stop. It's not side choosing, you know? That happened, that's their business, not mine. I love Queen, who she is, no matter what decision she makes. I love Chris, who he is, no matter what decision he makes. So, please stop. Please stop with that. That's dead. That's very dead. I'll try to do one more. Because that just made me, made me annoyed. If you had a girlfriend and she was ugly, would you keep or dump her? Okay. Alright. If you had a girlfriend and she was ugly, would you keep or dump her? Guys, it's, you know, the this ugly part and this cute part is all this stuff, you know, looks, you know, important. But look, if that girl let's, was ugly, but if she had a perfect personality to match mine, there's no doubt in my mind that I, I wouldn't pursue something with it you know looks is important sometimes but sometimes you gotta go with personality over looks and you know that's why a lot of relationships don't work out because they go for looks and it just ends up exploding but guys that's the end of this video my camera is actually about to die but i answered a lot of questions uh hopefully most of them but if i didn't answer yours there would probably be a part two to this sometime you know part four actually because i did this a lot but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe most importantly give this video a thumbs up subscribe most importantly you know it's all most important but guys hope you guys enjoy this video because i certainly did answering all these questions that you guys sent to me appreciate the love keep showing love